so we can have a vision, a vision of love, a vision of a community, a vision of justice, of equal rights. Where we get on, where we communicate, and where we work together to build a planet, a beautiful planet. Like the Venus Project with the great prophet Jacques Fresco. For example, but we can all contribute in our community, community with what we have to give to join in our business's joy, to enjoy life, but to share, to share and to preserve the resources of the earth and for the young and not to exploit them with student debts, student loans, put them in debt. This is an evil system we live under, evil system run by the royal family, by the Freemasons, by the Christians and the Muslims, an evil system that control the academic world. So the academic world will say, you know, this is just a conspiracy theory. They will say, you should be tolerant of people's religion. Tolerant of people who divide mankind and think it justifies killing when the book, their book says thou shalt not kill. We should expose their lies. We should expose the lies of 9-11. Otherwise, we cannot go on. We cannot go on. We cannot build a future on crucifying a Jew and blaming Osama bin Laden for, for, for the demolition of buildings, towers in New York. This is not a future. This is just used to terrorize us with the DHS, the, you know, the TSA, FEMA, FEMA camps, searching, groping police, soldiers on the street, preventing and breaking up our community. Denying uh, ma that marijuana is harmless and is our holy communion. Breaking up our community, breaking up our sanity, saying that marijuana causes mental problems. It's the society dividing man up, saying that man is a sinner, saying that we're inferior to the Queen or Prince William or any other bullshit celebrity. This is about rebuilding, cooperating and rebuilding. Nearer to our heart's desire. 